Greetings, this is Daniel Persedo for Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended, Photoshop 3D Ray Tracing today. And I just wanted to talk a little bit more about ray tracing in Photoshop and why would you want to use it. Ray tracing just simply makes things beautiful. If I have a simple object like this on my canvas, which was created with the shape tool and using one of the, the tools, uh, I mean one of the objects that we ship with, the grid, and I extruded it, whoops, don't want to do that, I extruded it and created this 3D object. Doesn't look like much now. Um, it's not lit. It's an OpenGL. I don't have anything going on. If I turn on my one of my lights, I have a, a little bit of a soft shadow here, about 10%. And then I threw on my image base light. And let's go ahead and ray trace it. There's a ray trace button here. There's one in the 3D menu here. Render. You can right click and find this little square here. I know we need a big red button. Um, but that's what we have right now. And let's go ahead and ray trace it. And beautiful. You can make really nice things with ray trace. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's a great tool for experimenting with different shapes or text or 3D models. It's a, it's a new thing for a lot of Photoshop customers and I'm really encouraging you to try it out, do different things. Right now you can play with the lighting and you can see a lot of the previews in OpenGL which is really just a guide. It's not a final render. You need to ray trace things to make them look really really nice. And your ray trace could be as little as a few seconds and I'll go ahead and turn it on and I'll keep talking here. I have my ray trace setting in the preferences 3D set to 4 so it terminates rather quickly. It leaves a little bit of noise on the canvas but I'm okay because I'm just kinda messing around trying different things right now. Once you start getting something that you like, see it's done you can go ahead and select click twice it'll select the materials um, well, I'll just you know I'll just select them here select them all and you can experiment with the different materials here and get different effects let's try this gold one here real quick right click ray trace and you can get different things you can even experiment with the ground plane which I talk about in another video you can make this reflective let's see what that will do it's just a matter of playing and as, des as designers and artists we just like to experiment and play. Ray trace is you know something that you really just should get a grasp of and enjoy. It, you know it's like grabbing a filter and blur and gauzy and blurry. It's just it's something like that. Don't be afraid of it. Just go out there and experiment. Any questions? Post some comments. Wait just one more thing. Uh, let's click over here. Yeah look at that. That's kind of boring but here's something I was working on earlier. Playing around with the DAS 3D model of T-Rex and I came up with some interesting renders. One with a metallic or a kind of metallic red texture. Another one depth of field created the sharpness around his eye. It could be reflective. I mean you can do some really crazy stuff with the ray trace. So now go out there and make something neat.